Welcome back everyone to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill and today we're going to be taking a look at an Air Jordan 1 Low Silhouette. This is known as the Embroidered. Let's take a quick see -through. unboxing and review if you're joining us for the first time welcome in be sure to hit that subscribe down below if you're not already subscribed to the channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing and styling segments huge shout out to my Jordan family for sending these my way really excited about this really cool color combination so we'll go through the overview of these jump into size and fit followed by how I styled this beautiful color block sneaker then we'll conclude with how much these are going for on the retail uh, market. So let's jump right into it. So as far as the color scheme goes, we have just a classic white leather toe. And then on the front, we do have this nice chocolatey brown leather, which I think is just a very unusual brown that I really haven't seen on a lot of Jordans. And when I saw these in hand, I actually really, truly really fell in love with them. It does have more of a vintage vibe look in hand. And then we've got some black laces on top of a white nylon tongue and then subtle pops of this light blue in a metallic shade for the embroidered jump and look. Logo. Let's take a look at those details, then move along to the side paneling. So wrapping around to the side panels, we have more smooth underlays of that white leather and then overlays of the chocolatey brown tone. And then we've got this really cool embroidered blue metallic shade for the swoosh mark, which I think is really what brings this sneaker and color blocking all together. As we wrap around to the back, you're getting that same tone of blue on the wings logo and the same exact color blocking on the lateral side. I do think that that chocolate brown and that light blue really are just two great color combinations. The interior for the collar is in a nice shade of black and then the insole is in a light blue and the Jumpman logo is in black. The sneaker is then completed with this nice coconut tone for the midsole and just a simplistic black outsole. All right, let's take a look at those last and final details then jump into size and fit. fit goes I went half a size up in these and I feel like these fit me perfectly I do have high arch narrow feet so do take that into consideration when deciding on what size range will work best for you all right so now let's talk about styling again I really just love the tones in this I feel like because they added that shade of blue you can really work this into the spring summertime but also because you have the brown and black hues this also works quite nicely for the fall and winter as well so for the first look I decided to wear a simple khaki jacket underneath I layered that on top of a stripe white and blue shirt tucked that into some simple white cargo pants you look at me like you know something I don't. it's almost like you see where this thing's gonna go the 
second look, decided to go with a leather brown jacket. And then underneath, I wore just a denim jacket for a dual layering. And then for the bottoms, I wore some simple black leggings. Then for the last and final look, wanted to keep it pretty monochromatic, matching the brown tones and hues on the sneaker. So I went with that same uh, leather brown jacket with a matching brown leather maxi skirt. goes for these these retailed at 125 dollars all right that is it for this unboxing and review if you joined us for the first time thank you so much be sure to hit that subscribe on your way out if you're not already subscribed to the channel give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these unboxing and styling segments my name is marissa hill this is shade tv we will catch you all on the next episode Baby, different song every day I'm